Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to look at how to copy and paste uh, projections. So we can copy the projection, that is the coordinate system used by one component, and paste it uh, for use in another component. That's very easy to do. What we're looking at is a Manifold System uh, Release 9. It's the same uh, <coughs> project that we use to uh, compute open space in uh, uh, various zip code areas in, uh, in Connecticut. And uh, you can do this in Manifold Viewer too. It works exactly the same way. So what we have here is a, is a project where we're looking at a map and the component pane in the, uh, the uh, component panel in the contents pane tells us that the map uses pseudo-mercator projection and that this particular layer, uh, which is the, uh, let's turn this one off and go back here, this is the uh, uh, zip code uh, tabulation areas uh, layer that uses latitude and longitude projection. Click on this one here and this one here uses a state plane uh, NAD83 Connecticut projection and the Bing layer, of course, uses the uh, same projection as the map. That's the uh, pseudo Mercator projection that virtually all uh, web server layers use. So uh, the map, the map is just a window that shows us uh, what do we want to see, and it'll reproject on the fly. So it's taking the zip code area and it's uh, reprojecting it in zip code area as a layer, and it's reprojecting it into a pseudo Mercator from latitude and longitude. And it does it so fast, it can reproduce that reproject that layer way faster than uh, Bing itself can serve tiles and likewise with the open space layer. So we can have a mix of layers here that use a lot of different projections and the map will reproject them into whatever projection we want. Now say we want to change the projection of the map and let's say we want to change the projection of the map to use this latitude and longitude projection that's used by the ZCTA layer. That's really easy to do. We click here on the uh, latitude and longitude for the ZCTA layer and uh, we choose copy. So we've just copied the coordinate system and then up here in the, in the map we can choose paste and we've just reprojected the map. The map the map is using a different viewport. We uh, control click on that layer tab to zoom to fit that layer and you can see the map now has that characteristic uh, you know uh, sort of a widened uh, look that latitude and longitude has in the uh, in the latitudes uh, of uh, mid-Atlantic sticks like Connecticut. You can also see that Manifold is reprojecting the uh, Bing layer on the fly. So it's actually taking all those images all the tiled images that are coming in from Bing and it's stretching them into a manifold and into, into latitude and longitude projection. That's why you have the, uh, uh, the labels look the way they do because those are just image layers. At the same time it's also taking this open space layer which is still in the Connecticut NAD uh, uh, and uh, US state plane uh, projection and it's projecting that on the fly into latitude and longitude. So suppose we want the map to use uh, this uh, Connecticut open space uh, projection which is the state plane projection well, that's easy to do too. Like as before, we click we click on the uh, coordinate system picker, choose copy, and then up here in the map where the map is now using latitude and longitude, we click paste, and uh, the map immediately changes into uh, that uh, Connecticut projection, which is a Lambert conformal conic projection. So it ma makes the whole world of Bing look a little bit strange. Uh, it's pretty impressive that Manifold can reproject on the fly all that image, all those images, image tiles that are coming in from Bing. But let's zoom back into uh, the open space layer or into the ZCTA layer by control clicking on those and uh, seeing locally the Lambert conformal conic projection looks pretty good. In fact, it doesn't look all that much different from the uh, uh, pseudo Mercator projection as we can see uh, by how the uh, labels that are in, in Bing are not all that distorted. Uh, let's say we want that uh, map projection to use the same map to use the same projection as Bing. Well, that's easy to do too. Let's click on the Bing layer to make that the context layer. And then here in the component p uh, pane where it tells us, uh, gives us the readout of what the current projection system is that's used by Bing and the current projection system that's used by the map. Uh, let's click here, choose copy, and then up here we'll choose paste once, once again. And we're back to using the uh, pseudo Mercator projection. Again, I'm going to control click here to zoom to fit uh, that particular data set. Now, suppose what we want to do is we want to uh, change the uh, ZCTA layer to use the same Connecticut to same use the same projection as the Connecticut open space uh, layer. So here we are in ZCTA. It's using latitude and longitude. We want to change that to what this layer here uses, which is the state plane. That's easy to do. Uh, with, the, with the focus on this layer, we we go here and we click copy, and we've just loaded that uh, Connecticut uh, coordinate system into the uh, map into, into the onto the clipboard. And then over here, CT, ZCTA, we choose that layer to be the focus layer. And here, we choose Reproject Component, and which that gives us a choice from the current to the new component. And here in the new component, well, we choose here, and you guessed it, we're going to click Paste. We actually got two choices here. We can click Paste or Paste Without Metrics. 
Uh, paste without metrics is something that we use when we're moving coordinate systems back and forth between images. Here we'll just click paste, and there, U.S. State Plane, Connecticut. Click update component, and that has just reprojected the C C T Z C T A component into U.S. State Plane. There's uh, no obvious difference in the map because the uh, uh, the map still is reprojecting everything into Pseudomercator. So that that's what that's what that does. Now, if we want to take a look at uh, what all this looks like, let's create a, a comments con uh, a component, and let's see what we actually pasted from the uh, clipboard. I'll choose Control V to paste, and you can see that it, what it did is it pasted the uh, JSON string, which is a long deal here. And let's uh, insert a few uh, new lines to uh, contract that a bit. The, com the uh, comments pane does not wrap by uh, default, so we're going to wrap text uh, manually here. And uh, you can see that's the uh, that's the coordinate system definition that it copied for the U.S. State Plane uh, coordinate system. Uh, that's kind of cool because you know what we can do is if we want we can use this text in, in a lot of different places. Uh, JSON uh, representations are uh, fairly commonly utilized, and uh, if for nothing else, if we want to see what exactly is being used in these various uh, coordinate systems. Uh, we can always copy and then paste it into Notepad or something. Or if we want to compare two different coordinate systems, we can copy and paste them, you know, one above the other uh, to make comparisons that way. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to recycle coordinate systems. We just copy and paste from one to the other. Uh, it's this uh, little button here in the uh, component pane, which is in the con which is which is in the uh, contents tab, and uh, we just choose we that we choose copy. We, we grab the component system coordinate system right off. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.